sound good, doesn't it? Now, let's talk about how we got it to sound like that. This is a 2009 FZ6R with a Two Brothers full exhaust system installed. I've had it for I've had it installed for about a month, and I thought that I would share just a few installation tips with you on the Two Brothers exhaust. When you get your Two Brothers exhaust in the mail, um, you're basically going to have your actual pipe. You're also going to receive headers. First you have to remove your old exhaust, which is fairly simple. Your headers go into four collectors, which are held on, each one is held on with two bolts. I would suggest loosening those bolts, but not taking them completely off, just loosening them up. Then, on your stock exhaust, you're going to have one bolt here on the right side of the bike. What the Two Brothers exhaust does not tell you is that you will also, on your stock exhaust, have another bolt to undo on the left side of the bike. Some people only remove the right fairings. I removed both the left and the right fairings. Once you have these two bolts off on either side of the bike, one bolt on either side of the bike, you will then completely remove the two bolts multiplied by four headers, so that's eight bolts that will come off. Once those bolts are out, this whole, your headers, your pipe, your can, the whole thing will drop down from the bike. When you remove your old stock FZ6R exhaust, there will be four gaskets stuck up in the collectors. You want to make sure that you do not lose them. You will need them. Only takes a few minutes to uninstall the old stock exhaust. Once you do that, you will have your Two Brothers exhaust and headers to install. As far as tips, I would tell you that above and beyond the tools that they provide, you will want a ratchet and or a torque set. And also, in a perfect world, you would want either a 6 inch or 9 inch ratchet extender. This can is held on by this bracket, if you can see it. And I fit my can on my pipe prior to installing everything. It comes with some sealant that you will want to rub on the old gaskets and on the tops of these headers. You will want to install this bracket. You will want to install this bracket first. Okay. You can see it down in there. You'll want to install this bracket first. Once you do that, you will want to prop up this side of the pipe. And with your headers, after you uh, grease the top of them, get the top of the headers and the old gaskets, make sure that they're still in your collectors. You will simply press the four headers up into the collectors. There will be a rubber band around uh, the top holding in your brackets. I would suggest not removing the rubber band that holds those uh, four brackets until you have tightened them down a little bit. If you cut the rubber band, your brackets will slide down the header. So as you're going to tighten them up, that rubber band that comes on the new headers is very helpful. You want the extenders so that you can reach high up in there 
to get those tightened down. You'll want to tighten them front and back, not completely all the way, just, just get, them in, get them in the holes and tighten them up a little bit. You will then want to adjust your can on your pipe so that you have the right angle. Notice the angle that I have. I have plenty of clearance. On the bottom of the bike, and my camera's not going to quite catch it, but I only have about a millimeter to two millimeters of it dropping down below the frame. You will want you will want to make sure that it's not up against the frame. You will apply this to you will apply your can to your new bracket. As you can see here, do not get it in the hole, but do not tighten it up all the way. Then you will want to tighten down your headers into your collectors. Then you will want to tighten down your bracket. And once you do that, that's pretty much it. I uh, rode about 100 miles with my new exhaust and then I took the fairings off and just made sure all the bolts were tightened down but it sure does sound pretty good I am definitely glad I am definitely glad that I did it and I can assure you you will be too I am no mechanic and it was very simple to do